Stevenson gets the 21-11 victory over Franklin and Marshall tonight. Glenn Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Uh, I know as a coach that you will always look for things that you can do better, but what we saw, particularly in the first half, that seemed like maybe one of the best halves of lacrosse that we have seen in a, a very long time. Yeah, I thought we played great in the first half. I thought we did a really good job just kind of understanding how they play defense, and uh, I thought the guys did a great job of shooting the ball and getting the really good spots. We made it hard on their goalie to get some early saves so he didn't get into a rhythm. And then I thought our ride did a great job. You know, did a really good job of just riding them, getting second, third chances on the offensive end. So uh, that was huge. And then Connor just playing so well at the X, you know, giving us time and time again. So, uh, you know, I think he was 24 or 35, but I think he was a little bit better than that with some of the things that kind of happened. But overall, you know, it's a good half. I thought we played a good three quarters, actually. Got up 20 to 5 and did a really good job. So I got some guys in who obviously some things are going to happen there. We let up a few goals. But um, I like where we're heading. I think we're trending upwards. And uh, we got to continue to do that. We have another big one on Saturday. So we got to continue to kind of just stay within ourselves. I think when we play within ourselves and understand what we do, we're pretty good. If we get outside of that, that's when we struggle a little bit. So, But I love the way we played today and I think we got to play with that energy uh, all the time. We, we can continue to play with that energy, I should say. It'll be, it'll, it'll be hard to beat. You mentioned the shooting, and there's no doubt, but what Peter and I kept talking about, and you mentioned it uh, before we started our interview here, is the assisted goals. Like You, you brought up Monar, who ma- you know, matches career high, right? or matches what he had for the total of his career in assists tonight. Um, the ball movement... This looked like a well-oiled machine. Is this something that's been coming for this team? Well, I think we've been close offensively at times. You know, we haven't shot the ball as well, so I don't think, like, you know, we haven't got rewarded because we haven't shot the ball as well, but I think we moved the ball pretty well in offense and started to understand who can do what and what each other's roles are. So I think we're getting into that point, and Jared obviously played very well today, uh, made some really good decisions and got on the end of that, but he also knows he's got a lot of things he needs to improve on. And then you know, just the continued um, stellar play out of uh, Jack and Grant. You know, they've just, you know, they're just so, they're, those guys are horses and they just continue to put their teammates in great, great positions. So, but us shooting the ball, we haven't only shot the ball about 25% in the year. So us to shoot so well, shoot 50% in the first half means a lot so hopefully we can continue that on and then it keeps goalies from getting hot you know their first goalie before they made the change is a pretty good goalie you know he has had a pretty good year and done really well and uh so we got to him early and just kept it on so that's great for us hopefully that will continue the play of a couple of your first years i wanted to highlight yep. and and particularly the shooting you talked to us before the season about curtis being a real shooter you said you thought he could be one of the better shooters in the country uh, he loves those zero angles you know almost like a canadian style the way that he's shooting and then hunter bryant dropping some ones as well like the way that the particular these first years have come on as the season has gone on how confident are you with where they are right now well we like where they're trending for sure you know I think Darrell's coming on you know he kind of had to learn what it would be for a while to be a college lacrosse player school how hard you had the work the extra work you put in he's starting to catch up to all that and I think it's starting to pay uh, pay dividends for him now so he's starting to do more that's why he's playing more because he's doing more of the right things during the week and in practice so he he gets to uh, be rewarded for that and he's going to continue to be rewarded because he's doing a great job and he's just got great hands you know, the ball just pops out of the stick so he can continue to help us there and, and do his role. And he, he actually rides really well, which is awesome. And Hunter's been great all year. You know, he just hasn't got the rewards of scoring as much. And so I think he got about a week or two in there, of like the freshman, you know, doldrums a little bit where, you know, he's playing some more lacrosse and he's played his whole high school career. And it's a, you know, I think he got a little tired in there, but now he's starting to pick it back up, I think, getting well. And he's a load. He's a tough guard. And so yep. you know, he's got to get his shot on cage and when he goes and he'll be great. great. But we got some other first years. You know, Aiden, you know, playing so well at the pole, doing a great job there. Yeah, and Greer tonight too. Yeah. yeah, Greer's playing great. So you know we have some other first years that are doing really good that are going to help us out throughout the way. Yeah, uh, Brian has no problem laying that shoulder in. Like I'm going to let you <laughs> let you have some of this weight instead, uh, Coach. Uh, really emphatic victory. Congratulations on that, and best of luck as you head back out on the road and get in conference play. Appreciate it. It's Paul Cantabene with us here on Go Mustangs Sports TV. Now we welcome in Jared Monar. Jared, it's good to meet you, man. Yeah, Thanks for coming up. You. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I I, I got to tell you, a couple weeks ago, we heard you're in the starting lineup. We're like, wait, what? What's what's <laughs> what what's going on here? What did it mean to you this season to have coach and this staff trust you with that opportunity to get in there and be a huge part of this offense? Man, um, it all starts with working hard in practice and having trust, build trust with your teammates. Like coaches, I like being there for my coaches and everything, um, having their trust in me, going out, performing. But, like, in practice, I like I like getting my teammates open. I like getting assists and I like showing what I can do. And I felt like tonight I like finding my shooters on the wings. I like finding them cut and 
having the trust in the coaches is a really big part. I, I want to talk about both those things, but before we do that, you say that, and I know that's true, but we have also seen you make some daring efforts from back at X to get front in front of the cage. Where did that come from? Like, where in your life did you pick up that skill set? Um, so, I mean, I've had three ACL surgeries. I've been through it all. And uh, before that, I've been, like, a lot faster, and then it took me – a good year like last year when it was my sophomore year to develop my speed back and get my motion and everything and coach just had his trust in me all last year I knew it was the year where I had to get my feet underneath myself and I come out this year and I just got to keep working working and working and the more I move back there I feel like the better I can be and like I said earlier, the trust that I have my teammates from my shooters on the wings from both of my attackmen is really big, and that's awesome to have. That was evident tonight. Four assists on the game. You had four for your career before tonight, and then four tonight. Um, in a way, is there something more rewarding about it? Like, is the, is the feeling I, – I can't imagine it's cooler <laughs> than when you dive in front of the goal and you end up scoring, or what was the one tonight where you're tip you, – walk me through that one, right? Like, like did you know – yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I usually know where I am at all time. Um, like when I catch it, I usually am going to okay. toe tap that one and I'm going to finish it. Dude, that was some balance, bro. <laughs> I don't have that in me. That was really impressive. All right, Jay, we got to get to know you a little bit. So let's walk through it. Uh, uh, give me like three songs on the pregame playlist, like something you got to hear to get yourself uh-huh. fired up. I'm a big fan of rock music, okay. especially uh, like modern or classic rock. Like classic. Okay. Like I'm going to go with like big acdc so nice. obviously thunderstruck i like that um i mean it's the greatest pump-up song yeah, in the history one, of music is good uh, uh let's take it on back in black's a good one Dude. i like that one and um uh highway to hell i mean you that, can't, you can't yeah, those are three good ones. I like and those three. Every song sounds exactly the same, and that's exactly the way that you want it because <laughs> they all rock. That's just what it is. And then give me a show that uh, that you've been binging or that you've been super into. Uh, shows? I really don't watch shows okay. that much. Movies? Uh, movies, no, either. I watch like live like podcasts or like okay. live streams. Okay. So... Um, biggest play I watch right now is Jinxie, the number one streamer in the whole entire world. I believe you. I don't. This is beyond me, man. <laughs> everybody knows him and um, a guy named Sketch that everybody knows what okay. his famous line is. What's up, brother? Everybody says that one, and the whole team will know that. Well, I just know what we're going to say when you <laughs> score goals moving forward. We've got a new line. Jared, uh, uh, Really, uh, who do you want to give a shout-out to? Who's watching? Who's helped um, you get to this point? Uh, my parents, uh, John Monar, Courtney Monar, and my youngest brother, uh, Jason Monar. They all come to my all my games, sit in the same spot. I know where they are, away games, home games. They're always there. It's always awesome to have that feeling that my parents are there watching me. Jared, congratulations on a great win and the way this team is playing. This was really emphatic tonight. Uh, best of luck as you head back out on the road this weekend to start conference play. Thank you. It's Jared Monar. I'm Glenn Clark. This has been GoMustangSports.tv.